Hi, everybody. I'm sure this isn't new news, but the official document for how the confiscation of firearms using the emergency management protocols thereof um, has been put on the Internet. I'm certain this is old. It just needs to be put out in circulation. And I'm certain showing you this is not illegal by any means, seeing that it is on a non-secure site by the U.S. government. Um, I got this from Political Insider, who got it from Red News, and I'm going to just openly show you the PDF so you can see that this is absolutely real. Civil Disturbance Operations. Now, let me show you what it says. Because this is actually important. This is the blueprint for disarming the American populace under a civil emergency. This is what they want. This is what they need. This is what the false flag is going to, uh, to, to be. And according to this, and you can read into this to find out whether or not this is absolutely true or not. I'm just trying to bring you the information as as I can, and then you can definitely go into it. But the plan is to use the United States Army on U.S. soil, which they've shown they can do under training exercises, so actualizing it isn't a big deal to them, unfortunately. And basically, the hopes are to prevent riots and dissent. But as soon as you see these guys hitting your streets and shit, folks, get the hell out. Don't even stand there under British occupation. That's bullshit. But anyways, it's coming from Political Insider. I got Red Flag here. And as soon as Red Flag, there we go, Red Flag is up. I'm not a really big fan of Red Flag, but... You guys will get the idea here, and they're trying to make it and trying to kick it. But basically, uh, this is outline released by the 2010 entitled FM33940 Internment and Resettlement Operations under Civil Disturbance Operations. Uh, and this is an, uh, basically a PDF that was in circulation for the United States Military Police Training Operations. No doubt your police have seen this along with every other group thereof. They're going to say this is just for emergency purposes. Um, this is not to be real. This is not to be actualized unless in an absolute emergency. But, ladies and gentlemen, it does list the fact that the, the FEMA camps and stuff will be used. And on page 20 of the manual, rules regarding the use of deadly force in con and confronting dissidents are made in disturbingly clear with directive that warning shot will not be fired. So, if this thing actually exists, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale down on my side, and I'm going to find that page 20. Let me try to find it, folks. Hang on. So there just just so you guys know, as I'm scaling here, I'm seeing something that says fire support element, or as it would probably be fire team support element. So I'm trying to find page twenty, but it's not really mapped out really well in terms of having um actual uh you know, actual uh, page numbers, probably for groupthink reasons. Okay, so I'm on 11 of 15, so I got a little bit. All right, there's a counter on top I wasn't aware of. Page 15, page 16, I'll show you this in a second. Page 17, 18, 19. All right, so it's actually on page 19. So, let's see here. Let's see, let's see what they're referring to first. 
So under this, they're basically referring to a bunch of things. By utilizing the scalable effects of concept and response gathering, crowds and demonstrations, blah, 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 blah. Use of tr translators are necessary. Giving warning shots before moving on the next level of force. Uh, rules of engagement and use of force governing the application of military force as they apply in specific situation. Alright, so here's the big one, folks. B, the use of deadly force and non-deadly force. Commanders are authorized to use non-deadly force to control the disturbance to prevent crimes and detain persons who have committed crimes. But the degree of force used must not be greater than the reasonable necessary under circumstances, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the use of deadly force is authorized only under conditions for extreme necessity and as last resort and self-defense of yourself and others, etc. So you guys get the foot facts here, folks. No doubt they have one that says shoot to kill any bastard that poses a threat. So we get the watered down version. So look at this, look it over, share it, etc. Thank you guys. God bless. Carry on the fight. Hopefully this never happens.